Top 10 Best Anime for Winter We are just 3 months into 2024 and we are getting a whole bunch of new badass animes from the likes of Ninja Kamui to solo leveling. So let's dig into it. 10 The Unwanted Undead Soldier When it comes to skeleton ice kite anime, Overlord dominates every time. However, there is a new underdog in the skeleton verse known as the Unwanted Undead Soldier. The story revolves around Rent Fena, a 25-year-old dude who has been a bronze rank hunter for almost a decade. He stumbles into an uncharted route one day while exploring the labyrinth of the moon's reflection. Regretfully, he stumbles onto a dragon's lair and gets eaten. Rent wakes as an undead skeleton after a while. He immediately sets out on a mission to attain existential evolution in order to return to civilization. The directors have gone with the main character-centric approach, showing every bit and piece of the MC. But there is one big red flag for this anime, and that is the slow pace. Fans are fed up with the slow pace and can't wait years for this anime to wrap up just like Attack on Titans. The visuals are quite introspective, and the anime gives a good look into the life of Rent reincarnated as a pile of bones. Most fans criticize it for the slow pace, and we agree with it as well, but it is what it is. So if you ever get a chance to watch a new anime, make sure to put this up on your list. It may sound underrated, but it is worth a shot. 9 Chain Soldier All of us are familiar with animes that open portals to another dimension. The Chain Soldier is more than just that in this case. The story is about a girl named Yuki. The main plot of this anime is slaving and getting slave rewards. You know what I mean. Monsters known as Shuki start assaulting Earthlings when gates to another realm known as Mado start to open up all across Japan. After graduating from high school, Yuki Wakura accidentally enters a gate and encounters Kyuka Yuzen. Kyuka can enslave Shuki and use them as mounts for battle. But when she runs out of Shuki, she asks Yuki if she can do the same. They conquer the Shuki when he gives in and becomes her slave. Now Kyuka often rewards him for being a slave and now she can fulfill her dream of becoming the supreme commander. The anime portrays as an action-filled, sci-fi, humorous, and 18-plus bundle that will never disappoint you when it comes to these traits. The fight scenes and the animation are pretty dope, but things don't hit as hard as in the manga form where we see more detailed fights. Overall, this anime surely deserves a top 10 on our list due to its ability to push the boundaries about everything that can be seen on TV. The character development and the vibrant colors just make it look quite mesmerizing. If you ever want to see some action-packed anime with some slave rewards, Chain Soldier is surely the one to go with. 8 Sasaki and Peeps What's better than a cat and a dog? That's right, a bird. But not just any bird, but a magical sage disguised as a bird. The story is about an old lad named Sasaki who is sick and tired of being alone. He goes to a pet store in the spur of the moment, hoping to find some company to fill the void in his life, little knowing that this will be the beginning of a transformation that will last a lifetime. Sasaki chooses a lovely bird and brings it home, but his new roommate discovers that the bird is actually an amazing sage from another planet that gives Sasaki magical abilities and the capacity to travel between worlds right once. Sasaki's only goal is to use her newfound abilities to live a peaceful and comfortable life, but she may encounter some quirky personalities along the way. The anime delivers the wholesome approach of the directors that we don't see very often. However, Sasaki still has to fight some people in both worlds to maintain balance. The anime started off as a wholesome and self-healing one, but changed a bit later on. So there's some issue with the main idea catalog of the anime. If you are sick and tired of watching those goofy ass cringe action Aizukai anime, this anime will surely bring peace to your life with its wholesome moments. 7 Villainous Level 99 Everyone loves an overpowered character, especially when it's a Japanese girl. That's what Villainous Level 99 is master at. Yumiela Dopeness was a college student who, following her death in an accident, got reincarnated into another realm. Yumiela perceives herself as the hero she played before she passed away and the secret boss of an Odin role-playing game called Light Magic. She chooses to level grind in order to live, hoping for a quiet existence away from her missing family. She spends her youth doing this, but something tragic was about to happen. When Yumiela at 15 enrolls in the nation's academy, she finds that she has gone too far. Level 10 was the most that was expected of pupils, but she reached level 99, making her the most powerful individual in the country. Now, Yumiela wants to join the heroes to help them defeat the demon lord. The anime is filled with bundles of joy, especially the main character. She has some very funny encounters with the students and the characters with their special abilities are quite triggering. With a heap of anime in the Odom RPG anime, this unique masterpiece with its bizarre approach is the one you should watch as soon as possible. Sixth, the seventh loop. Before stepping into our top five, we have another Otum anime filled with reincarnation and crispy characters. The story is about a girl with seven lives, or you can say seven reincarnations. 
This is the sixth time that Rishi Weitzner's engagement to the crown prince has been cancelled. She was trapped in a time loop where, regardless of the job she does or where she goes, she always passes away at the age of 20 one way or the other, five years after the divorce. This time, she draws the attention of Prince Arnold of the nearby Gaokhan Kingdom, which in all of her prior cycles was the cause of a global war, a plague, the loss of resources, and even the actual murder of her sixth reincarnation. Rishi agrees to his marriage proposal on the understanding that she will be free to lie around and not have to carry out any royal obligations. The story is beautiful with all the time loops and crazy adventures like Thanos using the Time Stone, and it's a treat for the eyes. The directors have taken a new approach with the medieval and villainous story, changing the old reincarnation worlds, but the one thing that seduces the most is the charming characters and the arts of the vibrant world that makes you stay there forever. 5. Delicious in Dungeon What's better than instead of fighting a monster eating delicious food in the dungeon? That's what Delicious in the Dungeon is all about. Guilds go on dungeon raiding adventures in a fantasy realm of dungeon exploration, with many of them searching for the enigmatic Golden Kingdom, rumored to be the hidden wealth of an island dungeon. The plot starts with a group of explorers trying in vain to defeat a red dragon, only to have to flee when the dragon devours the leader's sister. Fallon teleports them to safety using magic. Chilchuk and Marsil unwillingly accept Leo's suggestion to locate food inside the dungeon, since he secretly wants to devour the creatures. Inside, they encounter Senshi, a dwarf with 10 years of experience surviving in the dungeon by cooking monsters and harvesting food. The location of Delicious in Dungeon isn't too awful, and the character's trigger has done a fantastic job of highlighting the areas that needed a lot of attention like food. We see Nazkai and I'm that incorporates cooking, but this one is my favorite as it does a great job of incorporating the fantasy world into the food. 4 Wrong Way to Use Healing Magic In the world of Ice Kai and Reincarnation, we have seen a bunch of similarities in the plot characters and the MC going from weak to strong. But the wrong way to use healing magic is a bit unique. The story is about a nerd guy named Ken Yusato, a typical high school student every way. He has aspirations, mediocre grades, and a propensity to dislike outstanding individuals. When Ken's new pals are called into another realm, he unintentionally is summoned in two. He gives up on living a quiet life in the new world, dejected and with no way back. However, he soon discovers that he has a gift for healing magic, a highly uncommon kind of magic that attracts the attention of all mages. This N.I. was able to add humor to the best extent with some racist jokes and a showcase of the quirky behaviors of the characters. However, there are also some hype moments amidst the funny scenes similar to Kung Fu Panda, and that shows the badass nature of the characters. 3. Ninja Kamui Next up on the list is Ninja Kamui, a new badass anime in the town that is probably the best anime so far, but we can't say anything right now because more fire anime is yet to come. The story is all about ninjas kicking and slashing each other's butt. The main character, Hagen, is a total chad in this anime. Disguised as a small happy family, Hagen just wants to live a normal life. In the previous times, Hagen and his wife were ninja, but they broke the oath that described that you should not have any feelings towards anyone even if they are your own friends. Just like that, the Rogue Ninja Association starts its killing spree to take on the people who broke the oath and take their revenge. Hagen suffered the most as he had to watch his family die in front of him. In an attempt to get revenge for his family's murders, Hagen goes back to his ninja ways and plans to destroy the clan that gave him his start. The show is just mind-boggling with its animation and characters. The shadowy figures in the back are also a source of great intuition of the director, but there's one thing that you can't expect from the anime, and it's the great character development. There is not much of that as we have seen in the anime verse, and the show is only for those who are not much into the make development and just want to see pure chaos and bloodshedding scenes. To assign him affection. At number two, we have a romance anime named Assign Affection. The story is very wholesome and cute thanks to the artistic view of the characters. The story is about a girl with hearing problems who uses signs. She uses lipreting and texting in addition to sign language. A young man approaches Yuki and draws her attention after she imagines the language of the stranger asking for directions is English. Yuki, who recounts her silent world and the people in it, is the main character in the novel. The introverted character along with the feelings for her is demonstrated perfectly. The main idea is not about having a romance with your crust, but showing your emotions that are only bound to your heart. One solo leveling. Finally, we have reached our number one spot, and it surely is the best of the winter arc. The anime is none other than solo leveling. Everyone is hyped about its new episode each week, and the reason is due to being the best-selling novel and webtoon. Solo leveling has the same typical genre going from weak to strong, and with the dungeon concept, there's still a lot of new adaptations to the anime. Despite NI makers having a hard time animating manga, solo leveling has done it perfectly. The animation is sick, and the only rule here is to look cool. There's not much storytelling here, but the MC is pretty up. 
Jimu shows his dedication to becoming the strongest just so he can provide for his family. The characters and the voiceovers are just sick and the rage mode of the MC is the source of motivation for many Anine fans. So if you are someone looking for a fierce battle and a huge fan of Bloodlust Mick, put this Anine as the number one priority on your list. That covers up our video and I hope you really enjoyed it. We are just starting 2024 and there's a whole bunch of Anime coming afterwards. If you want me to cover any other Anime, let me know in the comments. Until then, peace out.